So this morning, £171, 77.6 kilos. What's going on YouTube? George here, hope you're all amazingly well. It's that time of year where it's everyone's got a cold right now. I've got a fucking stinking cold. I wake up feeling grotty, I'm coughing, sneezing, all that kind of stuff. I feel like absolutely fucking shit, but the show must go on. So before I get started with this video, make sure you get me on Instagram, Snapchat, georgeosman12, should be down here somewhere, especially on Snapchat. Always post frequently on there if you want to see what I get up to uh, in my personal life a little bit more. And I also post a lot of my workouts on there for you guys to try. I get really good feedback on them and a lot, a lot of people enjoy them and I get a shitload of screenshots, like over 100 screenshots on my workout, so don't miss out. So my macros uh, so far, my diet's going pretty well, I'm still losing weight continuously, doing my cardio twice a week. My macros will be on the screen right now, I'm hitting 200 to 225 grams of protein, maybe a little bit over the top of the protein, 200 grams is probably enough. I'm hitting 275 grams of carbs at the moment and about 60 fat. So the diet, the diet is going pretty well. I'm losing weight off doing that. But next week, I want to start prop, like properly carb cycling. So in this video, I want to go through exactly how I'm going to be carb cycling, carb cycling, and how to help you guys carb cycle yourself. I'm just going to explain how I'm doing it, and hopefully you can implement it into your own diet and lose, get results, lose weight, because that's what we want to do whilst carb cycling. So I'm just popping to the shop to get a monster. Let me know in the comments below what, what your favorite uh, color monster is. My favorite has got to be the, uh, probably the white one. I don't know, it's just, it's, it's a unique flavor that the others, the others are kind of like, you can resemble it to like, say a fan or something like that. But the white monster, it's just, it's a unique taste. I can't really compare it to a different kind of flavor. But the weather lately, it's been fucking Baltic outside. Look, holy shit, what the fuck's happening here? Don't even see that, but it's fucking like hailstones. What's this about? April. So I got my old pre-workout monster taste test. Beautiful, and I also got some uh, leg day, um, look at those carbs, leg day motivation versus leg day for me again. I think in my last video I trained legs as well, I can't fucking remember now. There's leg day again, and I've been enjoying leg day lately because I've just gone to the gym. Remember what I always tell you, especially on leg day. Leg day is the most hardest day of the training week, especially it's like 70% uh, mind, 30% workout. You might have all this energy, but if your head's not in the game, you're not going to perform well. So five minutes to yourself, reflect on life, forget about all that fucking bullshit. Right now, watching me, forget about that bullshit. Look, forget about that bullshit. Forget about that fucking bullshit. And concentrate on your workout. Forget about all that fucking bullshit. Smash your workout, kill it. Um, and uh, I'll see you throughout the workout. I'll just show you bits and bobs. So I just wrapped up a uh, leg session. It wasn't the most amazing workout I've ever had. My lower back was tight as fuck. I trained back the other day and I did like hyper extensions and fuck me, my lower back was fried after that. And then obviously when you do like squats and stuff like that, it affects your lower back. It's gonna hit your lower back. So I'm quite fatigued in the lower back area. But I'm thinking about changing uh, my split. Now typically I do a quads, hamstring and uh, calf session. And that normally takes about two hours for me to do because I like to spend time on it. And obviously it's quite legs, probably the biggest part to train when it comes to training in the gym. It takes the longest to train for me, definitely. 
But today is my lower back was absolutely fried because I did hyper extensions on my back day a couple of days ago and my lower back I woke up like this morning and my lower back is tight from doing that and obviously it affects your squats because obviously you lose you, you use your lower back while squatting. So I'm thinking about changing my split to like um, maybe focus on quads and calves and then put hamstrings with like shoulders for example it's just so I can uh, just mix it up. So let me know what you guys do. Do you um, do you do all, all together or do you train quads separately, calves separately, hamstrings separately? Let me know in the comments below what you guys do. So if you've seen the title of this video, you're probably here because you want to know how to carb cycle correctly. I've watched so much shit on YouTube this morning, last night, whatever, during the day. I've watched so much shit on YouTube of people explaining how to carb cycle and people just go so over the top, so confusing. I'm watching it myself. I know how to carb cycle, but what they're telling me I'm getting confused myself. I think, how the fuck can I get confused when I know how to carb cycle myself? So a lot of people over confuse this stuff, but I'm gonna show you how I carb cycle, but it's gonna be a nice, simple, effective way for you guys to follow. It's very straightforward. Now for me, I split my carb cycling into three different kind of days. I have a high carb day, medium carb day, and I have a low carb day. So I have written down here how, how I'm gonna plan this out. So here, we have how many grams of carbs we're going to have each day. And here, on what days we're going to have these kind of uh, carbs. So on your higher carb days, the, the, the days which require you to put more effort in, like your leg workouts, your back workouts, that uses more energy than what arms do, for example. You're going to have 250 grams of carbs. This is me, personally. It's going to vary from person to person, obviously. But for me, I'm going to have 250 grams of carbs on these days. That, obviously, like I said, that is going to be a big, big day. Like, legs is punishing on the body. You need carbs to you, to train. Otherwise, you're going to overtrain and you're going to get fucked up and stuff like that. So, 250 grams of carbs a day is what I'll be having on these days. Moving on to the days which I don't need as much energy as what I do on leg day and back day. So, for days like shoulders, chest, arms... I'm going to be having 200 grams of carbs. Very simple. Keep my protein high as well. And uh, on these days, I'll be doing my cardio as well. These days, I feel like it's very taxing, especially on leg day. You don't want to do cardio after leg day because it will be very taxing on your body, especially back day as well. So on my medium carb days, I'll be doing cardio. So 200 grams on shoulders, chest, arms. Very straightforward. These don't require as much energy as what legs and back do. Now on my rest days, on my rest days, I'm gonna be having a hundred grams of carbs. Look at my face. Hundred grams of carbs. Look at my face. I'm not happy. Hundred fucking grams of carbs. I can get that in one meal. So on my rest days, I'm not using any energy at all. I'm recovering on those days. So the best way to do it is having a low carb day on your rest days. A hundred grams of carbs that is how you carb cycle very easy for me i go i work out i work i train six days a week so i'll do i work it out with my split so maybe for example back will be um day one so i'll do 250 grams of carbs then i'll do chest which is 200 grams of carbs then i'll do legs 250 grams of carbs arms 100 200 grams of carbs Shoulders, 200 grams of carbs, and rest day, 100 grams of carbs. Now, there will be refeed days where I will be doing a higher carb day, a higher calorie day. So, on my refeed days, I'll be hitting 500 grams of pro uh, carbs. I was going to say protein, and fuck me. Around 200 grams of protein and about 80 to 90 fat. The reason we have refeed days is to re-energize our bodies, to refuel our bodies, make the most of those calories going into your system. Within that refeed day, I will be having a cheat meal. So this will happen probably once once a week or once every 10 days. I haven't really decided on that yet. But we want to we wanna refuel the muscle. We want to take advantage of those refeed days. Don't be having a refeed day knowing you're having a rest day afterwards because you wanna, you're not going to utilize that energy. Like I've said in previous video, have a refeed day knowing you're going to train the next day. No point not doing it when you're not going to train. So that's my advice to you. I will be doing full days of eating on these kind of days. So I will be doing it for a rest day, 100 grams of carbs. I'll be doing it for a moderate kind of day. So that's 200 grams of carbs and a high carb day, which is 250 grams of carbs. So I will be doing full days of eating to show you guys what exactly I'll be doing. And like I said, if you're beginning 
uh, if you're starting your cut or whatever right now, do not start with carbs likely. You don't want to be doing that. You want to slowly decrease your calories, carbs and that. Because I used to have 500 grams of carbs a day and I can't go from 500 to 200 grams of carbs a day. It's not going to work like that. I went from 500 down to 450, 400, 300 and now I'm around 250 mark a day. So it's all about kind of slowly progressing. If you was a smoker, I've said this before, if you was a smoker smoking 50 cigarettes a day, you're not gonna go from 50 cigarettes a day to one cigarette a day. You're gonna break, you're gonna snap. Slowly progress it down to do 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, that kind of thing. Now, before um, I wrap this kind of thing up, there's always gonna be one fucker in the comment section, one person to dislike this video. It's gonna tell me I'm doing it wrong, I'm doing this wrong, this is not how you do it correctly. This is how I do it from my own experience, this is how it's worked for me. And I want to kind of, um, teach, well not teach you, just like provide my experiences with you guys and show you how it's done. Maybe give it a go, it's not going to work for everyone. Experiment with the macros, You're, everyone's completely different, so that's my macros. You might have higher macros, you might have lower macro, macros. Just, like I said, it's all about experimenting bodybuilding because everyone is fucking different. So if you have any um, questions regarding carb cycling and that, make sure you uh, email me, Snapchat me, Instagram me, and I'll be willing to help any of you guys out help achieve your goals, whatever they are. So, um, good to wrap this video up now, guys. Hopefully this video has helped you in some way. If it has helped you, make sure you smash the like button. If you have any... Any issues around what I've just said, if you don't understand it, make sure you hit me up and I will explain it to you. Um, if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe. Plenty of new stuff coming. More meal preps, more full days of eating, that kind of stuff which you guys enjoy. More food shops as well. My name's George. Make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Let's see if I can do this.